All right. So fish and topic. I've been wanting to do this one since we started the Real AF TV podcast, and that is no joke, no exaggeration. This is fish nervous system. Do they feel pain? That sort of situation. Mm. So it's going to get all sciencey and shit, but hang in there. Yeah. All right. I'm ready. Hang in there. Hey, first off. Yeah. Before we start this. No, I'm having myself a little drink. I don't know if you're going to have a drink too. I'm all out. But, well, I, I just also, like, okay. I want to take a shot. Yeah. And I have yeah. a Vikings shot glass right here. Dude. And the whole reason I'm taking this shot that thing is, sick. Chrome is because I want to drink. But I'm also going to use the excuse that I'm saying farewell to Adam Thielen. It's been a good ride. He got cut today. He did. Yeah. Oh, so, Adam shit. Adam Thielen, hometown boy, is going to be going someplace else. Yeah. I don't someone's know. Someone's going to pick him up. But it's been fun, and I am definitely just using this as an excuse to <laughs> <laughs> not look like an alcoholic on the podcast. Salute. <laughs> Skull. That's what I, I should have said. Skull. And I'm also drinking some orange soda. That's what this is, if anybody's wondering. I was wondering. Okay. I like orange soda. <laughs> Kale likes orange soda. That's a Nickelodeon. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're a Nickelodeon kid, you get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All the Nickelodeon kids out there, leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> leave fire emojis in the chat. Give me some Kale emojis in the chat. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, oh, she said Kale. <laughs> the fire. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, okay, Tim. Dude, I'm really interested in hearing what you got to say about this topic. Yeah, me too. Because I mean, I'm ex- I'm I'm curious of this exchange, but yeah, why? Sorry, I cut you off. Dude, just the whole thing. Like, I've always, I don't know if they can feel pain. That's mm-hmm. one thing that everybody's been taught. Like, they yeah. just, uh, I don't think they can personally. I don't. Mm-hmm. Just based off of their demeanor and stuff, it surely doesn't seem like they can feel pain. I've had a couple of occurrences with like muskies and bigger fish Mm -hmm. where they didn't seem to try to swim away because there was any form of pain. They swam away because they came to the realization that they were getting caught, but maybe they do feel the pain, but they just have to ignore it because they also have to eat fish that have spines. (laughs) So part of their life is like, yeah, pain is life. I don't know. (laughs) That's a really good point. And uh, yeah, I (laughs) know. The COVID kicking in. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. And I don't have COVID over here. I just have whatever oh. I have. I tested the other day for fun because I have, I don't know. Because you got tests though. Yep. I got all those tests. I'm just like, well, no, let's I see didn't, whatever this is. It's just hanging in there a little bit. It gets me every once in a while. Just hang. It's. I didn't get. I didn't get a bad cough. Anyways, anyways, we're getting. Uh, okay, Sorry. here we go. Sorry. So. Dimitri Martin, I was watching some of his specials before we canceled our uh, Paramount Plus subscription. Yeah. So I was yeah. watching some of his old stuff. And he is so funny. He does those little jokes. Like he's doing musical number, right? And then he has like a little <sighs> joke. And then he does a musical number. And then he has a little joke. And I just love those rapid fire little jokes. And he has one that's <laughs> so good. He's just like fishing. They should just call it what it is. Tricking and killing. <laughs> Tricking and killing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. <It's just> like, yeah. <laughs> and and it was just one of my, it, like, it just made me think more about this topic because, again, it's been one that I've always wanted to do because it's one that people I hear more often than I used to hearing. Right. And it's just like, yeah, well, I don't know. I like fishing's cool and everything, but I hate the fact you just like hook them in the face and throw them back. I'm like, well, not, not everybody does that, first of all. Right. So, whatever it's you know that's not the only way you fish right (laughs) and i've heard that too where they're just where they're just like you don't go hunting and then like release the animal and it's like well you don't mortally wound the fish either right you know we're not shooting this thing in the face Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one thing i will say but also you can't see what you're fishing for either that's part of fishing like you don't know what you catch when you catch a sunny on a two and a half inch swim bait 
Yes, because it just runs up on it. Right, right. Yeah. Like, how the fuck you? What are you gonna do with that? You don't yeah. want that sunny. You're not gonna eat that sunny. It's small. It's aggressive. You caught it. It's not edible. Right. You're gonna throw it back. Like, oh fuck, I can't yeah. control that. So, I'm I'm not trying to make this into that debate or that discussion, but this has to be part of it. Like, we're not gonna just dive in and do this because we're gonna right, get into right, right. like the science yeah. here. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah the, what else were you going to say? Because I was just going to say like the the whole like killing part. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about it when I was younger for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. But now for sure I do. When I go to clean the fish, mm -hmm. I definitely wrap them over the head every time right. before I clean them. Yeah. I used to just like clean the fish like they don't feel anything and they have like and it's just like I don't know for sure if they do. Yeah. And if they do, I'm just cutting the meat off of their flesh, like their right. skin uh -huh. and bone while they're still alive. Like mm -hmm. that got to me in later years. Yeah. So now me I too. definitely just like take them out before I fillet them. Yeah. And and a lot of times I actually like bleed them in the basket and stuff now. Oh, I'll just you do like, do that. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Because that's was something I just learned about in the last few years of since we started doing the podcast that I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do it. Do yeah. it to some of the fish. When you cut that main artery yeah. and they swim in there and they're able to bleed out and stuff, you can see a visible difference in the fillet. You because yeah, when you cut you the fillet, like they, it has those little like black lines, and those mm -hmm. are veins that still have blood in it. Oh, when they bleed out, like all that leaves, and you just have this pure white fillet. It's just like super white and clean. Yeah. It's yeah, it's dude, super white and next clean. Next time we catch fish together, the, we're doing yeah, it. Yeah, it's super white and clean. The nice. mess when you're cleaning them is less because they're not bleeding as you're cleaning them. Yeah. They're already dead. The heart's not pumping anymore. Right, right. There's there's like no blood left in them. And yeah. they're not feeling any of this because they died. Yes. Like bleeding them out like that because I don't. I've never believed that they they've felt pain. So that's why I'm curious to see like how like what this is all gonna say. Yeah, because when sure. you bleed them out like that, you just give them a quick snip, and I they can't yep. they don't know what's going on. They're yeah, just like no, back it's in just the like water. slitting the throat of a pig or a cow or something. You know, like a maybe not a cow. It takes a long time yeah. for a cow to bleed out. But and, but, but except but, like and, pigs and and cows and stuff, they're like they're more intelligent. Oh yeah, fish. no, no. I fully I don't agree. think the fish knows what's going on. It's just right. like when it, it just gets all hooked. of a sudden starts to run out of blood. <laughs> right, exactly. It's just kind of swimming there, and then it just kind of stops. <laughs> right, and that's all yeah. there is. Yeah, to and it. with like, that, with that part of it, I, I don't, I don't know for sure when it comes to that. But I, I agree with you. I, I, I'm, I'm on the same page as you. Because even, yeah, even though a small a, a pig will bleed out fast, like. It still has time to realize its neck has been opened up. Like, right. And I it don't squeals think the fish, and freaks out, and the fish right. doesn't know what's going on. Right. I think the fish just is swimming, and then all of a sudden, it just is not breathing anymore. Yeah. Like, I, I just used the, exa the example of like the reaction after the fact. Right. Mammals, like those ones that we eat, are they like freak out. Right. And a fish, you do it, you put it back in the basket, and it like swims down to the bottom. And it doesn't really do anything. Yeah. And I suppose you could use the argument of just like, well, what's it going to do? It can't swim away. Well, if I put it in the regular water, it'd still do the same thing. Yeah. It would swim down into the weeds and then just sit there. Right. It and wouldn't we... It wouldn't start going like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> it's not freaking out. It just kind of just goes. Right, right, right. All right. Am I good? And then I don't think it even thinks that. It just kind of goes, you know, whatever it does. Yep. And then it is no more. And then it's just foof gone. Yeah. So let's let's jump into it then. So I got most of my uh, most of what I have here to start us off with the the science of it, the biology stuff as I have in the notes um, yep. from the University of Hawaii. Okay. Um, I read a big big article, well written to be comprehensible by someone who's not a scientist. <laughs> like, sure. Like it wasn't just a bunch of biology biology language. It was very it was um, pretty easy to read and yeah this is pretty much where we're going to get most of this from um and before we jump in we were talking about fin fish i realized that is a thing like we're talking about fin fish we're talking about fish that swim as opposed to like shellfish 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're, you know, yeah. when you think of a I'm, fish, it's a fin fish. But dude, yeah, exactly. When you said that, I'm like, what up. fish don't have fins? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. The, yeah, the yeah, shellfish. Yeah. Right. And so, yeah, I wanted to just be very clear about that. I was like, think of a fish. Okay. That's what we're talking about. Gills, tail, shit like that. But, okay. you know, like shellfish didn't get into that. Mussels, you know, if you want to consider that a fish, like a, an oyster or something like that, right? Like we're not talking about that stuff. We're not right, talking right, about right, those. Right, 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 right. Yeah. We're talking about real deal fish. So just wanted to put that out there before, uh, before we got into it. Uh, because that's not a vein in the back of that shellfish shrimp there that you're eating. That's poop. <laughs> that is poop. <laughs> it is shrimp poop. Yeah. That is not Which, a big main vein spine thingy right. with all these nerve endings. It's just shit. Yep. But their, <laughs> their poop is really more of like filtered out like sand and gravel. Yeah. You can so that's it. what that is. But I still do not. Ever since I learned that, like, I won't go to most places that have the, like, all you can eat shrimp. And I'm like, yeah, because that's the cheap non divain stuff. I'm not here to get all I can eat shrimp shit. <laughs> <laughs> They'll just keep it coming. Isn't that amazing? Not really. No, they just no. cooked it with the poop in it. Yeah, they kicked it with Ew. the poop in it. Yeah. But those are, gotta be, that's, those are so different, too, because most of those have the exoskeleton right so i think yep. that's got to be like an internal skeleton that's got to be like right that's got to be like a completely different nervous system yeah you would nope. think. i think so yep yeah. because that again there's no internal like fin fish have the internal skeleton yeah mm -hmm. right right yep yeah okay so i'll tell you this the nervous system is a complex group of tissues and organs that control most body processes <laughs> that's a quote i just wanted to be very clear of like we are talking about the nervous system here going forward. We are, you know, like we're talking about the nervous system of it. We will get into pain, but like your nervous system is how you feel, right? Like how you right. actually feel the physical world is, is how I'll put that, that quote. Sure. And sure. so that's what we're kind of talking about, or that's kind of the point as we already kind of opened up with. Okay. So there's two parts to your nervous system, your central, your central nervous system and your peripheral nervous system. Learning okay. stuff here. Right, right. Central, and this is fish too. I guess I say your, <laughs> we're talking about fish. So the central nervous system is just the brain and the spine. Okay. Fish have a spine. Can you tell me more that you've handled more fish than I have? Spine. Yeah. Is that, is that literally run across the back of it? Like, do you say if I, you're filleting a fish, do you say like I run it against the spine? Yeah. Or is it more embedded inside? Like, I don't know. You know? No, it has it, it's a spine. It, it it depends on the fish. The placement's okay. a little bit off. Okay. Like the the northerns have that Y bone and stuff, but that All right. there's okay. there's a big like almost like a back strap. There's a big piece of meat that's like above the spine. Oh. So okay. there's the spine doesn't go all the way to the surface where the other fish right. pretty much do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's what but, the northern you're talking about that has that back strap on it pretty much. Yeah, that nor the northern is a little bit different setup. That's why it has that Y bone where there's like the spine and then there's like bones that come off each side that make that Y shape. Interesting. But and so the it's middle is a little bit more embedded in its yeah, body. Yeah, the middle is a little bit further down. And I'm trying to think. The spine goes all the way to the top. I always cut the fillets off the sides. I've never tried to go down. But yeah, the spine... I'm pretty sure it goes right up to the top. And then I've never looked at the anatomy of like what's underneath the skin because I can't see it that well. But the dorsal fin, mm -hmm. they call those like spines, the spikes. Yeah. And you would think that that's almost got to be like a jointed version of the spine, like just a continuation that can like move up and down. Because like it has like muscles on that. They can like lift it up and down. They can. So I think that's almost like a continuation, but yeah, like bass and stuff and sunfish and all them. I'm I'm most pretty certain that the pretty spine goes that, right to the top there. Yeah, but I like haven't, that backbone is a bone is like their spine is their bone. It yeah, yeah, but it goes is. all yeah. yeah, it goes all the way to the top. I'm I'm pretty certain. Yeah, I but mean, I, I believe you I just could, haven't handled enough fish. Yeah, 
I sure, maybe wrong. it's embedded there's, under there, but like there's there's something hard on top of it. Yeah, then, like, at least it's a piece of cartilage that is. Yeah, maybe there's a piece of cartilage, and piece, technically, like, it's it's there. Yeah, maybe <laughs> it's there's that a... backbone of the fish is the spine essentially. Yeah, I would think so, unless yeah, I agree. possibly the spine I actually agree. runs like through the middle, like all the way through the middle. Uh, no, and then the other bone structure goes up. I don't know. No, it I didn't look never, to me that way. We'll get it. I've never we'll really into thought. Like yeah, I, I like cut around the rib cage to cut the yep. meat off and stuff. Yep. I guess I've never really thought about like, is this the spine or not? No, it's definitely it's a in weird. The back. It's a weird thing. You know, it's it's such a weird deal to have stuff like that, where you've been it doing is. something your whole life, and then somebody goes, and then you go, oh yeah, yeah I could tell you about that, and you go. Can I? Wait, I don't know. Right? Yeah. No, that's know. exactly <laughs> why I also wanted, wanted to do this because I had the same realization as I got older too. I felt bad about, like, I remember seeing fish still moving their gills and shit and they've been completely oh, yeah, and thrown in the yeah. gut bucket already and they're still moving their gills. And I was like, oh God, I just felt so fucking bad Dude, about that. Yeah. And But so, the nervous system keeps going. Yeah. There are videos on still the- alive. I mean- there are videos in, in some on the cases, internet. They're still alive. There are videos on the internet of fish that are completely filleted, and yep. all you have is the fillet, and the muscle is there. Yep. There is the the muscle has literally been removed from the fish. Yep. And that muscle alone is flopping around still. Yeah. It is Wait. gnarly looking. Where you're yeah. just like, oh my god, I've That's never funny. had that happen before. No. No, I've never seen that before, other than on the internet, but it happens. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, back to it. So the peripheral nervous system, uh, that's the nerves themselves, which what you're talking about, you know, like what keeps the yep. muscle moving, yep. of course, yep. it's just getting, you know, leftover energy out. Sure. So it's the nerves and the organs. Which I was oh. like, organs. We'll get into the organs. There's, so there's two kinds of nerves. There's sensory, sensory ones, so connect to sensory stuff noses and shit right and then yeah. there's motor ones that just run muscles and glands and things like that so those are the things that move the fish right yep so you got you got your two parts of your nervous system so so far pretty complicated yeah fish aren't that complicated <laughs> no nah. though their brain does have six major parts again more than i expected yeah there's and this is six major parts. So I'll just read them quick. You got the olfactory, the cerebrum, optic, pituitary glands. Okay. The cerebellum and the yep. medulla. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I just named off the six parts. Now we'll get into them. Yep. I didn't expect that. Six parts to a fish brain. It's pretty big. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would have expected it either, but I don't know. Is that how most brains are made up? Like, does it matter? Like, even if you right. have all those parts, does that change anything with the intelligence level? Or is that just how brains are? Uh, Yeah, but more... Are there I think like more parts there, to the brain? The more complicated, the more that it's considered that you can. But I mean, like, are there are there like far less part? Are there a bunch of animals with far less parts to their brain? Uh, or is that just I, how brains are I made up that way? <laughs> I only That's why I'm wondering. Like, even brain. the dumbest animals in the world, right? They just have like a you. full brain, and it just doesn't work good. <laughs> good, good <laughs> question. But also, here's the thing: part of the brain. The two olfactory bulbs. Okay. Dude, that's your nose. That's your sniffer. Humans have olfactory. Like, you, if you remember biology at all, yeah. olfactory is just a term for your sniffers. Yeah. Right? I'm, I'm, all these terms are like ringing bells. Right. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and act just be like, oh, yes, I knew exactly what that was. <laughs> right. But like, right, right, as soon as you say olfactory, I'm like, oh, yes, I've... Yeah. These are right. familiar things in my brain. Right. So think of how important scent is. Like that just sets off right there. Right. How important right. scent is to a fish. Yeah. Literally part of its brain is dedicated to smell. Right. Right. It's not doing anything else. So when you say six parts, right? And part of it's your fucking nose. You know, right. 
<laughs> we have a nose that sniffs it up, goes into our brain, then it processes like, nope, this is just like straight to the dome, man. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Don't give a fish cocaine. <laughs> right. Damn, you want to see oh. it swim fast? <laughs> <laughs> just jumping over docks. <laughs> just because. <laughs> Instantly <laughs> kicks in, just bam. <laughs> No, imagine fighting that fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Cocaine Bear. Now we got a new movie, dude. Cocaine Fish. <laughs> cocaine Fish. Yeah. The sequel. Nice. The sequel. Okay. Ooh, that could be. I was thinking, I was honestly thinking like the sequel would be like Meth Bear. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like eight it's hours real long. And shit. <laughs> he's like, he's like, like, he he's not constantly looking for a re-up like the cocaine bear is. Right, right. So he's got like that eight hours of rage. But he's <laughs> but he's wiry, dude. He is <laughs> he's not that big buff bear. He just he's scrawny, but he can go, catch dude. Fur. <laughs> You catch him just cleaning out his den. Oh, he, no just get, he just gets he just gets sidetracked all the time. You're like, yeah. <laughs> that dirt's that dirt's your floor, and he's nah, nah, right. Nah. Trust me, making it clean. <laughs> Pushing his dirt out, and you're just like, you clean your den right now, and he's like, you fucking cop. <laughs> you cop. <laughs> 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 just just getting up in everybody's business. <laughs> just leave me alone, man. <laughs> just do my thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay so the, the olfactory i don't, I don't want to spend too much more time on it because you know i don't want to drag this podcast this this part of the podcast on super long sure but it just smell uh like a boat you know bait smell whatever however you want to put it right like knowing that this is such a big part of their brain now i'm just like oh man scented baits dude scented yeah, dude. baits for sure. Do you see a big difference when you use a scented? Like, because you you fish more than me, obviously. So that's what, like, do you see a big difference with the scented baits? You have a lot of them. Yes, I do see a big difference with the scented baits. Like, depending on what they are, I've had I've seemed to have different uh, luck too with different scents. Certain scents nice. seem to work better than others. Yeah, yeah. Almost like they're so, tuned in, right? Like they have these big yeah. old glands that just like tune in to their space around them or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so I think I think it does help. I think I think it it makes them question it less. It's almost <laughs> like you they they smell it a little bit. Yeah. And then yeah. they see it and then it's like just kind of that you know, again, don't know how smart they are, but it's like that if they're putting two and two together, that right. looks like a fish that I could eat, smells like a fish that I could eat. Right. I'm hitting that thing. It's like their instinct and, just kicks in like, I can't help myself and they go for it. Right. And mm -hmm. because of that thinking too, a lot of fishing is confidence based. Yeah. Like if you don't have confidence in a bait, it's a little bit harder to, to fish with and stuff. Like mm -hmm. it, it, it's a big point for the fishermen to have confidence. Yeah. And I definitely have more confidence in a bait that has smell. Sure. sure. And uh, people have had a, a lot of luck on the max scent, the okay. the power bait max scent. Yeah. Which is like 33% stronger. It says right on the bag, 33% stronger <laughs> than all the other stuff out there. So it's like if if you have good luck on the one that has the most stink, Maybe there's something to that. I don't know. Sure. I, and sure. because it, it works with their, their scent, like their taste too. That scent and taste okay. is yeah. in together. Right. And yeah. power bait, you know, it's going off of their claim. I don't, I can't tell you for sure. I can just say what they've said. Right. Is that they claim that the fish will hold on to the bait longer too. Mm. Like when they eat it, they won't mm -hmm. spit it right away because they're not just like, this is plastic. Got they it. eat it and they're just like mm, still kind of hold on to it for a second. You know, sure. This is food, I think. Yep. They so. actually have to have signs to back that up because they can't market it if it's not, like it's technically false advertising. 
Like it should be. It's, right, it's illegal right. for them to say that. So yeah. they've done their own research for sure. Um, right. Well, I'm, that's I'm that's what I mean. Like there's, there's that haven't been in marketing long enough. Yeah, and it's like there's loopholes on everything too, right? <laughs> so you have to have this <laughs> research. You have to have this research and stuff. But it's like, what are you putting it up against? You know? Yeah. I got you. It's a, they they hold on to the power bait thirty three percent longer than that pop can we tied to a string. <laughs> they didn't they didn't, they sucked right. that in for a second and spit it right back out. They spit were like, right no, thank out. you. <laughs> they I don't, don't, want, I don't want it. Why the hell did I eat this tin? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move into the second part of the fish brain, the cerebrum. There's two mm. lobes. Behind the olfactory bulb. So the olfactory kind of runs from like the nostrils up towards the head, you know, from the, because most fin fish are kind of shaped the same in a way, right? So you got, you yeah. got your, yeah, you got part. your nostrils right in the front that if you've ever had a fish, caught a fish, you can see them. And those yep. olfactories, they kind of go up that slope in their face. Yeah. And then just behind that, there's these two lobes. Um, they're kind of like above the eyes a little bit above kind of behind the eyes. So like you're starting to get into the noggin part of it now. And okay. this is voluntary muscle movement and memory. And then this is where we get into like fish don't have shit for memories. Now they can mm. do, it says simple tasks and environmental adaptations are yeah. pretty much the only thing that a fish can actually like learn or remember Sure. I, they didn't say like what a simple task is, but you can make the assumption that it's like if I pick up these rocks and spit them out over there, I moved them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then they can well, build a bed, even though some of that is, you know, natural instinct. There's right. There's a certain. Yeah. Like, OK, it, it figured it out. Good. Good for it. Yeah. Um, well, there's got to be a, there's got to be a little bit of stuff. They're like that because they will find like a decent spawning area and right. they'll be like, this is kind of protected from wind, you know, and I, they don't know wind. They're like, this is, per, there's not much current going on here. This seems like a good spot. Right. I'll mm -hmm. fan me a bed, wait for a lady. Right. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, do their thing. And then they do it at like the same time of year. So there's like that too, mm -hmm. where they're just like the water's warming up a little bit and they're just mm -hmm. like, all right. Right. Looks like it's about that time. Some of these yep. ladies are going to get a little bit freaky or ready, you know, like, so there's, there's definitely, they definitely have that habit where they know what they're doing. And, and like how you were saying, like picking up rocks and stuff, sometimes mm -hmm. they'll pick up a bait just to get it out of the way. Oh, sure. Yeah. Like, like you'll have like a imitation crayfish and they'll come over and they'll just be like, you're not supposed to be here. And they'll scoop it up, swim away, spit it out like away from the nest so it knows it, like yep. here's how i get rid of you right and then it yep. goes back to the and nest and you're not supposed to be here this is my environmental adaptation yeah for yep, sure yep yep and the voluntary muscle movement like okay yeah this is how it you know can actually tell itself to swim that's how it wags sure. its tail okay cool sure. so that's what the cerebrum does okay and then we got two optic lobes so again, the eyeballs are like directly wired into the brain here. They are like the lobes are part of the brain. They're considered a part of the fish brain. So there's two of those. They're just behind the cerebrum. And, you know, so like these are just below. I mean, they're t they're just below behind the eyes, basically. Right. So the top okay. middle of the head sure. is kind of yep. what I did. But okay. Yeah. It's their eyeballs. Their eyeball nerves. It's not. It's not like a separate system. Okay. It is part of their brain. So again, like the like the olfactories, right? How big is sight on fish? Huge. Oh, yeah. Just like shiny baits. That's right yep. away, you know, anything that's shiny. Yep. Making it yep. look natural. Like crayfish yeah. baits. Like you were just saying crayfish. You could see a crayfish. Yep. It was a difference. Sight, big. Sure. The pituitary gland, again, a gland that is considered part of the brain. I don't really understand glands. Glands are fucking crazy because they're everywhere in a human body. Right. And they're everywhere in a pig body, too. You know that? Like a wild boar has like nine 
glands. You have to work from like behind its neck all the way to its back legs, basically. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't know shit about pigs. They reek. They reek. And, and they're you have delicious. To cut them out. But they are delicious. They okay, are delicious. so you got your pituitary gland beneath the optic lobes, and this is your chemical command center. That's so. This is basically where all of the fish's chemicals come from. So this is kind of like okay. the kick it in. Okay. And that's, uh, yeah, that's just one, beneath the optic lobes. They're kind of like more, in the face almost a little bit. One more thing I got to say real quick, because yeah. you're talking about the sight, where it's like sight is very important for them, oh, yeah. but I don't think they can put together what they're looking at. Because if they could, mm -hmm. they would never bite on something with all the hooks and stuff. The umbrella rig or the yep. A rig, the Alabama right. rig, yep. perfect example. Right, because that's a bunch of swim baits on just literally what looks like a like an umbrella without the fabric. Yeah, it does, <laughs> and they still eat that shit, man. Yeah, and they still eat that shit. So their sight is important, but their brain can't put together what the hell they're looking at. They're just like, yes, why are well, all these other fish chasing this metal yeah. sculpture? I don't think yeah. I they can't put it together. So, anyways. Yeah. No, no, that's perfect. That's exactly the kind of conversation that I wanted to have because of this. You're you're dead on. That's a really good point. I know we kind of skipped over it pretty quick, but yeah, it's important to fish. It, yeah. They rely on it because they it's they use it. Obviously, if that's a big part of your brain, it's going to take up a lot of space in your thinking. But yeah. it doesn't mean that they're seeing super crystal clear and comprehending everything they're seeing. Right. You're right. Like yeah. that's shiny. I'm going to fucking take it down, but it can see that shiny thing from far away. It picks up on it easily. Like it can distinguish something shiny from its environment. Right. Yes. Like from its surroundings. Right. Like it, yep. it's, it's, it's that sort of importance and it takes up a, if it's part of your right. brain and it's going to take up a bunch of your thought. I mean, that's it. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, pituitary gland, we talked about it. That's the chemical command center. So that's kind of, you know, what kind of fires everything off. And mm -hmm. uh, the cerebellum. So cerebellum. This is, yeah, cerebellum, and in most in mammals and stuff, like it's, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big part. So let's right. get into fish parts. Behind the optic lobes, it's kind of the top, back of the head, um, like just in front of the gills. It's kind of like where I think the head ends. In a way, does that make okay. sense? Like, does that make mm. sense? I don't know. What can you say it again? Is where? So, so I have I, I I what I wrote down is it, it's kind of in the back in the top back, like just in front of the gills. You know, kind of where the gills oh, start. Yeah. Okay. It's like go in a little bit from the gills on most fish. I know some like barracudas yeah. have fucking super long heads. So okay, take it for what it is. But like, right, yeah. think about say, like a like, sunfish or a bass thing. or something like that. Yeah. And yeah, so that's kind of just in there. Um, the reason why I bring that up is because, uh, this is where coordination of skeletal muscles happens. So I'm kind of like, what the fuck does that mean? And then I thought about it a little more as you were talking about like the ribs and stuff like that and the way you're cutting into it. And I was like, yeah. Oh, so this must be that shit that's connected directly to the bone. Like you said, the back strap, right. On yeah. the walleye. So that must be what this thing's taking care of. Like. The pipe. the pipe. Thank you. Thank yep. you for correcting me. Yeah. So I think that must be what this thing's doing. Is it taking care of that, like, those those muscles that are just, like, they just connected directly to the skeleton and must help movement more then. Sure. Yeah. Um, But uh, the, the reason why I say that also is because, like you said, that backstrap thing. And it yeah. says... Once it starts swimming, um, this is what keeps all the muscles in order. Because, you know, when a fish swims, it's like, it's not a snake, but you know what I mean? Like it has yeah. a pattern to it. Yep. And so the rhythm of that pattern is kept in order by the cerebellum. Okay. Which is pretty fucking wild, I thought. Right. All I could think is like, that's not as catchy of a song. But I feel like it'd be something that you would hear on like uh uh like the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. 
I'm just like the nerds sitting around. It's like, this is the rhythm of the cerebellum. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that was the, those were the original lyrics. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, the cerebellum is keep keeps them swimming. And then you got the medulla, which is kind of just sits right underneath a little bit more inside the head of the cerebellum. Um, and it connects the brain directly to the spinal cord. And that's why when you were talking about the, the spinal cord connecting and stuff like that, think about the back going up, right? And then the way, if you think about where I just kind of explained that and it's high up in the head near the back, it's mm-hmm. kind of like the spinal cord's running straight down the back. Right, I'm thinking. right. It's like right there. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's the part this is the like part that's connecting. Right there. It. Yep. Yeah. And that I makes think sense. so between the medulla and the cerebellum, I think this is why when you fucking knock them in the head, they're done. Because you're getting that coordination. You're just knocking all their coordination out, right? Because the medulla, yeah. since it connects directly to the spinal cord, this is what keeps them alive. Oh. You know, this is the thing that is the yeah. hearts, the gills, everything like that. It keeps all that stuff running and sends all the nerve, you know, it sends all the signal. Yeah. Or it, it's the last thing before all the signals go out. Right. And so, yeah, this is the thing that just like runs everything. So that's why, you know, you take them and you fucking bonk them in the head right there. Dude, and it's weird. Like a, a pike is one where like you can see that you connected. Because yeah. I've seen, it's weird, like the eyes are kind of set, norm, you know, they're like on each side of the head. Uh-huh. And when you hit them in the right spot, the eyes literally kind of go, and then they kind of like droop down a little bit. Oh, You can see them literally go like, they twitch and then shut off. Yeah, like you just, yeah, you, you just, you just cut the head off a robot. Yeah, dude, exactly. It's like, it's like you hit the spot and it, and they just go. Yeah, exactly like a robot. That's all. That's my picture. The first time I did it, I was like, "Oh, dude!" I like watched it die. But then that's I'm like, "Crazy!" Oh, but I've like killed him so many times without doing that first. Right, that's got to be better, right? Like it's it, now. That's what I look for. <laughs> now yeah. I'm just like, oh, I watched like him shut off. off. I, yeah, I watched <laughs> him shut off. We're good. I Go for it. Shut off. It's good now. <laughs> And I agree. I actually, the first time in my adulthood that I took it on myself, um, I, I knocked him out. Yep. Because I yeah. had the, like, I'd seen it so many times where they were just like friends or uh, even doing it as a kid, they would just start scaling them and, you know, and cut them out. And I saw the breathing too much. And I was like, I know that you can hit him in the head and knock him out. And so, yeah, we caught a couple sunnies one time. It was all on me. I was the, the head of the fishing group. Right. Um, and I knocked him out and I, and, and then filleted him and it's not knocking him out. It takes him out. They did like you smash oh, yeah. the brain, I think is what happens. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think it's either smash the brain or like you were saying, like where that nerve is, like you're just, you're oh. like hitting that nerve. Right. And it's literally just like an off switch. Yeah. You're right. Good point. Because that's what yeah. it's like in the UFC too. The, like your chin has a direct oh, yeah. connection to the back of your brain. Right. That's why right. when you hit it, you hit that button, just boop. And then you yep. That's go what to they sleep. call it. Even yep. in fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. point. Good point. Yeah. That's their button. Good. Yeah. Yep. That's so even. Button. Even if it doesn't kill them, at least they're out for when I do my thing. And you right. ain't and then waking they up after I do then. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're done. So mm-hmm. with with that part of it done, yeah, with the brain part of it done now, yep. do you think that, or have you, not, not do you think, have you ever seen the knife technique, not the gill, not the gills to the knife? I mean, yeah. not the knife to the gills, okay. the knife to the head, like to where you just take it and you just take the knife and you go, okay, here's where the brain is. And then bam, you just Ooh. stab them right in the noggin. Like you, you 
you brain them. Yeah. Have you seen no. that before? Mm-mm. I've, I've seen no, it. No, I haven't. Because I don't carry a knife. Right. That's sturdy. Yeah. The fillet knife is, is flexible. It won't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I've never tried. That. Yeah, I've never tried going through the skull. I don't think I've ever seen it done. Yeah, it's a thing people yeah. do. I think it might be more ocean fish, more bigger ocean fish that people do it to. But okay. I think I'm just gonna stick to the whole like. Yeah, I want to. I want to get like a good um, kitchen shears. Like a yeah, like dude, a, a strong kitchen shears, and then you yeah. just go underneath and just snip, and snip the... because there's a main. Your the gills are here, which you can do, but I still feel like that's almost like inhumane too. Like the gills run down, and there's like one main artery that runs like yeah. directly underneath the chin. So Through if you the come chin. in here and you just go snip real quick, and you get the gills and that vein at the same that's time, because that game... that's get, that can that disconnects the main vein in their neck from the mm-hmm. gills it's like a double it's like a double whammy isn't it yep, yep. yeah just that's just, the way i was thinking of doing it well, that big I, sn- I scissors boom hit wayne the main brain mclean and just <laughs> done boom yeah yeah I mean, I, I, yeah so yeah. I, that's i i haven't got one yet so i'm still using the the fillet knife but the fillet knife is still like it's a little bit of a of a, of a uh, I can't talk of a flex. There's, there's like, um, on like walleyes, there's like the muscles and there's almost like a little thin spot where you can almost kind of oh, see through there. And to really? me, it always reminds me of like those dragon movies where like the dragon is like, you when cannot dragon- touch it unless you, you stab it in that weak spot. There's a weak yeah, spot right there. You hit right. him in the weak spot yep. and he's done. Right. And then you can almost like find it. You go in there and just boop. And yeah, yeah just Interesting. knife knife right well, in there. I'm going to start looking for a good set of kitchen shears now too. We have some, but we don't have like a good. I want to know what a good set looks like. If you find it, you bring it on the podcast and show us. Yeah, something, I'm super something hefty with a good. Yeah, get, with a good get handle. Good leverage like in good, it. Just get good, in there uh, and just snip. Yeah, that good, good pinch in the middle. Well put together yeah what, i don't know what that's called but yeah like the pivot point good pivot mm, point yes i don't know pivot point sounds i don't know what the fuck I'm correct called. i don't know it's what you uh, what else you would call it yeah <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> okay so let's just go over the sensory organs really quick and then we're going to get into do they feel pain the sensory organs are just the stuff because this is the other part of the nervous system right so i just want to make sure to cover it here and it, we're just going to go over it really quick you got the eyes the ears the lateral line taste nostrils right that's yep. all the sensory organs are. That's the other part of the nervous system. It's that stuff. Sure. It's just that. Yeah. Now, the lateral line is the only one I wanted to kind of touch back on because mm. I don't really understand it. And I think you probably know a little bit more. And I just want to talk about it because we've talked about shiny things and noise and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. What is the lateral line again? Because it seems like such a big topic. The lateral line is, is it's sixth sense it's Ah. it feels vibrations basically eyes ears it can it can it can feel yeah it can feel without having to touch it it, like the vibrations in the water it can literally feel it yeah through its body ah Uh so that's why that's why like vibrating baits work so well like a chatter bait or a spinner bait Mm -hmm. or those blades when those blades vibrate fast they can literally feel it Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, not we talked about the smell and we talked about the sight thing, but like this is the other part of the nervous system where you're literally tapping into a sense that is unique. Well, not unique, but they have a sixth sense. Yeah. Yeah, for that sure. That is that. And you're tapping into it with noisy baits. Ah. Yep. Yep. And, yep. and that vibration, I mean. that vibration is like natural to them because fish will do the same thing because that tail when the fish oh, right. is swimming will move. Right. Mm-hmm. But it's like everything that's irregular is what turns them on. That's why, like, right. when a bait's going in a straight line, that's not normal for fish. When a bait is darting all erratic, that's not normal. It's yeah. it's like these these irregularities get them going. And when there's right. like a steady right. heavy thumping, just they're like, "What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that?" Ah! I just like I always picture smallmouths like just being like super angry. 
<laughs> and that vibration going past them, and they're just like, no. Oh! <laughs> they just got to chomp it most of the time. They get lit up. Just, I got to get that. No. Oh! Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's, in oh. my mind, that's just what they're like every it's time so a bait good. passes by. It's got like this anime picture in my head. It's fucking. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I wish I could draw anime. Just like the all that like energy behind them. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to wrap up this topic on what we started with. Do they feel pain? So research. There is research out there. I did some research. So I found this on Smithsonian on the Smithsonian website. The Smithsonian. Yeah. Um, this was via Haka Magazine. H A K A I A. H A K A I. Yep. Hakai? Yep. Hakai okay. magazine. Okay. Yep. Turns out fish feel pain. Now, mm. to what extent and all of that. I think is still an open debate and like we already talked about their memory. They don't have that much memory. Right. So how long are they in pain? Right. How, they'll never. We'll, okay. We'll get into that, but here's right. how they tested for, here's how the, the paper that was written on it tested for pain. They would inject them with an acid solution. Okay. And so like acid, like acidic water. They yeah. would inject it into their muscles and that fucking hurt. And it changed their behavior. Like we know that it hurts, right? Like you can do this to humans and it, and it fucking hurts. <laughs> sure. Right. Um, and so it did change their behavior. They did it to their lips and they would rub their lips into the rocks and, and do things like that to like indicate that their lips were feeling fucking weird. Okay. Um, they put in, they had, a path to two tanks. So like these fish were in a tank, they'd put these fish in a tank and then they'd have a path to two different tanks coming off of that one. Right. Okay. And one tank was filled with foliage and all the fun stuff that a fish would want to go live in. Right. Like yeah. it was a nice fish tank. And then there was just a fucking empty tank. The control was they just put the fish in there normally and see which one they went to. They always went over to the tank that had stuff in it. So just sure. normal fish go into the normal tank. Yep. Then they started to put a painkiller, which they basically said was morphine, but it wasn't, it couldn't have been morphine, but like that's what they amounted it to. Yeah. They put morphine in the empty tank and then they injected them with acid and the fish figured out that the empty tank had the painkiller in it and they would go over there and chill out in the empty tank. To get rid of the pain. Them feel better. Mm hmm. Huh. So, again, environmental changes. They're picking up on it. So, they're fucked up and they figured out the environment was better over there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Now, also, let me ask this question. People who practice bass fishing, right? You, yeah. You go out without hooks on some or all of the time on practice day. Right. Sure. So you don't sting them, right? Isn't that what they kind of call it? Yeah, like I think they'll they'll be able to feel the the bite, but they're not catching them, so you're right. not necessarily like spooking them. Yes. Right. Yeah. I. Yep. They could call it so they don't sting them. Like that's the word, but I don't know. Okay. For sure, that I've seems to make before. sense. That seems to make sense. Sure. Because they that's another term that I've like heard where they say like a stinger hook is like mm. the hook that you put on the back of something to like elongate the hooks to double your chances oh. of like catching it, like if they're gotcha. short striking it. Sure, sure. So I believe you. I'll say yes. <laughs> For sure. So yeah. I mean, what do you think? That's that's the research, that's the that's the biology. Then that seems crazy. Yeah. It's pretty I, wild, huh? That does seem very wild. Um Yeah, I don't I don't not believe 
what they're saying. Mm-hmm. But I do wonder, like, is it even pain mm-hmm. that that's what they're perceiving it as? Mm-hmm. Or is or it just discomfort? Know, like, yeah, or they the just know something's sort of... not right. Right. Because mm-hmm. they're nope. just like, I, I operate on 100%. And something's wrong with my lips. So, <laughs> right, right. I mean, like, maybe if I do this on the rocks or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that seems weird. Yep. And, um, I mean, we know that fish get stressed out from fighting and swimming and stuff like that. Like, we know that it, like, a fish is super worked up from a fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it gets their system going. Like, a yep. fish comes in. Like, if you're trying to eat fish and you actually had a really big fight with a fish, like ocean fish, you're trying to right. eat it, you're like, we got to cool this thing down. It's hot because it just was fighting. So you got to get the blood out of that thing, like an ocean fish yeah. specifically. You got to get the blood out fast because they warm up and you don't want that. That's how the meat will go bad and all that stuff. So does it even know that it's been hooked in the face, right? Like, it's just... It's just fighting. I think well, it's right. just doing a survival move. Yeah. And yeah, I that's mean. The, that's the other thing that I was talking about with, like I've had bigger fish where I've caught bigger fish and they've seemingly like not even really fought until they <laughs> saw me. Like they were hooked. There's mm-hmm. a hook in their face yep. and they're not running until they realize that I'm trying to land them and then they try to run away. Sure. And when they try to run away, they feel the resistance. Right. And that's when they're just like. That's when they go. That's when they got it. They mm-hmm. just keep fighting until they get away because they're trying sure. to go down into the weeds to hide because they got spooked. Yeah. And I'm stopping them from doing that. So yeah. then the fight Instinct is on. Kicks in, but like, oh, until shit, then. Something's wrong. I'm fighting. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But until that point, they didn't know. Yep. And I think a lot of times when you set the hook, they're aware of it the smaller fish feel that where their head gets turned. Oh. <laughs> and, and, they, and they just go, right. The Cause they that? feel and the they tongue run. right away. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. But Good the bigger point. fish is so big enough that they don't necessarily register it right away. Yep. They don't, they, they probably feel something move, but that probably f- happens with the size of the fish that they eat too. Yeah. Where they feel that movement. Sure. And they're just like, yeah, I've yeah. been here before. Yeah. Wait until he stops moving. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. I, I'll say this. I think that they feel pain. I think they think they feel some sort of pain. It's not going to stop me from fishing the way that I fish. No. I already feel like getting and eating them. And uh, like we've changed the way we dispatch our fish. And yeah. I, like. You know what I mean? Like, I want to start snipping gills, mostly because of the meat. I want to eat it because you can keep it alive until you put it on the table and knock it out. You know, right. stuff like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm not going to cut open a live fish. <laughs> I'm not going to dis. I'm not going right. to murder my fish without doing it with just a knife, <laughs> right, on a table while it drowns yeah. in the open air. No, I'm not doing yeah. that anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, that no. that one felt cruel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But. Th- Okay. Yep. Okay. Fish are fish can sense when something's weird. Yeah. Is it pain? Yeah, it could be. It's stress in some way. It's a distress in some way, I'll say. And then they yeah. can pick up an environment, an environmental change that makes them feel better. Yep. Right. Pretty much learn that from their brains. They're smart enough to pick up on environmental change. Okay. Yep. Yep. I just don't think that they're processing anything that much. I don't think that you can in any way stop yourself from catching a certain kind of fish because we've, me and you, you've showed it before. I've showed it before on like our social media channels. Yep. You're going to catch a sunny when you're going for bass and you got to throw it back because you're not going to catch 10 more sunny to make a meal out of it. Right. You're going to hook that damn thing. That's all there Mm -hmm. is to it. You can't Mm -hmm. stop that. It's going to happen. Right. So in the end, I'm just going to say, sure. If you don't want to fish because you think that fish feel pain. And that's the way you want to do it, then, OK, you know what? Right. I'm going to I'm going to tell you, yes, fish do feel pain. Zzz. Yep. 
<laughs> yep. When I said the hook, he's going to feel it. Yep. That's how it is. Yep. And and I don't think that there's a bad thing with catch and release because of that either. Like just sport bass fishing. Yeah. Dude, the amount of fish that the money of the sport is bringing in that's it's saved. Like the mon- amount of earth and water that mm-hmm. the funds from outdoors people who enjoy catch and release. I mean, fly fishers, there you go. No, like they have a rep in the they have a rep in the in the fishing community as being the softest people in fishing. Only <laughs> catch and release. You know? Right. Oh, I'm just out here for the tranquility and the hooking fish in the face part. Right. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, yep. Hey. That's my stance on it. I, I, and that's the science behind it, like leading up to it. Yeah. I don't know, Tim, what do you think? I'm, I'm in the same boat as you, man. Yeah. Like, okay. even if they feel pain, I don't think they're smart enough to really register it. It's, or that it would last even that long, right? Like yeah. it won't last longer than the stress of catching them or anything like that. And it just seems... When you let a fish go and you watch it just swim away. Yeah. It seems to be over that shit pretty quickly. (laughs) Yeah. Well, and people, I've caught the same fish multiple times. (laughs) Like you can tell because it's the one with the fucked up eye, right? Yeah, yeah, because I fucked him up last time. (laughs) 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 No, most of the time it's like there's, there's like a little spot on their lip that's you know, like healing, you can oh, see sure. that there's like, yeah, it's healing up a little bit, but it doesn't right. stop them. Like clearly, that looks a little bit tender, and they're still out there eating more than their fair share because right. you'll catch them too, and they'll they'll like spit up in the live well. You know, for some of these fish that you are keeping, yep, yep, and you're just like you ate more fish than you needed to. <laughs> I can clearly see you're not in that much pain. Like <laughs> you have the wound on your lip that's healing, and mm-hmm. you're still going all out. Right, right. So it, it can't be that bad. Yeah. Yep. And it's it's kind of crazy to think too, where if anybody would use that argument, just be like they do feel, feel pain because these doctors who I'm on the side of were injecting fish with acid. Right. You're like. Damn, dude, that sounds crazy. You're right. Like, let's prove a point here and fuck these fish up yeah, bad. <laughs> right. Like, really give them some fucking good pain. <laughs> yeah, dude. That that's a crazy I think I think more the more impressive part of that study was not that we can prove that there's pain, but that they have a reasoning ability. To go away from the structure I normally want. Right. I will swim to where the painkiller is when I have the acid in me. Right. Like yeah, that the environmental seems... change that is part of their, that we are, you know, we talked about. It, yeah. It's, it's just, it's just built into their brain. It's their cerebellum is just like yeah. kicking in. Doing However it works, it's just there. It just understands comfort. Yeah. Because it's the same thing with like the winter. Oh, the water temperature has dropped. I will, you know, mm-hmm. go retreat into right. the deeper water to right. where the water temperature is where I want to be. Right. So I guess it makes sense in that regard. But yeah. to even be able to put that together of just like, yeah, the tank over there is empty. But when I swim into it, see, that just seems crazy. It's real good. Like when, when would they even learn that when would they ever even choose the empty tank to learn that environmental change they can probably just pick up on it in some way like I, it's I, yeah. crazy it's pretty gnarly i know yeah i have so is. many questions i just want to like sit down with the scientists for a while i know and just like, here, how did you figure this out it's so crazy to think about it really is right and so, what was your control group are they just junkies <laughs> did you did you did you put did you Who put bass in a crackhead fish? <laughs> did you put bass in there that didn't have acid in them, and see if those guys were still just like, bro, 
Obviously, I'm going where the painkillers are. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Duh. No, they did. If you heard, uh, I said that at the beginning, like the control was they put oh, the fish you? in first, just totally normal, and they went to the environment. Right, but you said you were saying that there's like one with like the weeds and one with just empty. Yeah. And then there was like, like it's just and a then, water tank. And then there's like, they put a painkiller in there. Was that painkiller in there before... They had oh been put, I got you yeah that's I don't what I'm recall. wondering I don't recall that part of it I I like because I know what you're saying I want to say pain... yes, that was it wasn't a totally empty tank that yes okay. it always had the painkiller in it because maybe their pain receptors aren't that good but their pleasure receptors bro the they're just, they're just like <laughs> yeah we want that clean clear water bro. Yeah, yeah. I so I, I guess I didn't make good <laughs> notes on that part, but you make a yeah, you make a really good point. I don't know what it is about this open space, but I am just vibing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Just, Speaking phew. of vibing, let's get vibing on some old video games. Episode sixty four. I had to bring some N sixty four to the table. We're gonna talk yeah. about our past, present, and future with N sixty four. I think that was a really cool topic about the fishing nerve system. Yeah, dude. It for made sure. it, it made for made for some really good conversation. Um, had a lot of science in it, and um, yeah, I'm I'm happy with that one. Uh, not that I'm not saying, <laughs> not that I'm saying I'm shitting on the other ones. What I'm <laughs> saying is, it was worth the wait. That's what I'm really saying. Is like it was worth the wait. Once we got this far in the podcast, we got our cadence down. We got our setups down pretty well, and. Uh, it was right for me to hold on to that one in our longer format. So I'm glad we did that. Let's move on to the random take where we're going to talk some video games. So here we go. On to N64. Hit the break. Yeah. 